We play 12 one game seasons, so I don't, I don't, I don't look at it that way. I look at it as the next season. The game's over. We made the corrections we had to make, and uh, the players understand that. Players are very resilient. Coaches aren't. All right. And I think that players understand. We make corrections. We went through as units, offense and defense, sat down and showed how if this guy did this right, how the play was going to be worked on both sides of the ball. So it wasn't just one guy. It was, it was a number of people that could have played better than they did. Uh, and they understand. We made a lot of good plays, but we gave up too many big plays on defense. And again, offensively, we just, I thought, started too late. Started too late. Practices is intense every week. You know, uh, we got to go out and uh, practice hard. You know, uh, we win because of the way we practice. And, uh, we got to. We just got to go out and practice hard. I would say it was very intense. It's always intense, but it was very intense, especially um, after last week. You know, us as seniors, we don't want that to happen again. So you know, we have to go out and push the younger guys and make sure practice real good. I don't like losses and having a bye day. It's not a good recipe for coaches. Uh, I think you like to get on the field right away. I know the players would, uh, but again, that's the first couple of days we had off and. As I told the players, we might as well get used to we, we There's eight Saturdays this season where we don't even play uh, because of the schedule we have, uh, which is an unusual schedule. But they're looking forward to the second season against an a undefeated 2-0 team that is playing at home. And obviously they were they played in the championship game last year in the SEC. I just got off the phone with someone asking me about do I think they're an SEC caliber team. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, and so the rest of the SEC teams that they beat. So uh, I think it'll be a great opportunity for our players, and I know they're looking forward to getting there and, and teeing it up again. I think Sandback's a good back, there's no question. If he didn't have the foot, he would have been starting, there's no question there. He, he had a good preseason. He's a big, powerful kid that can run. But, you know, again, you can't, you can't run with the foot he had. But he's 100% now, and, and Hall's back 100%. So, uh, again, I know the offensive coaches are happy they're both back. And, but I think Dontravius did a good job. So the po the positive thing is that he, he came out of the game with a lot of reps. You know, so you have a second back that got reps. And uh, again, I, I think we can play both of them in there, and I don't have a problem with either one. Uh, and again, Hall coming back just gives you more more versatility on the field, like the kick return stuff like that. Uh, whether he's back there or not, I don't know yet, but. Uh, and that receiver, he does so many things at that position. Fans, don't forget, you can follow the Knights on social media.